Instead of waiting for something to happen, a Minnesota school district is being proactive, taking security to the next level. Eastern Carver County added secure entrances to each school and more surveillance cameras. Voters approved more than $2 million for the improvements. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily found out how it works. Shanna Anderson often volunteers at her son's school, Bluff Creek Elementary. This year, there's a new step before she can get to the office. You have to make sure you have your ID. Parents now must use what's called the visitor management system. And you just have to slide your um, ID, and then the gals in the office come on. Are you heading down to a classroom? Yes, I am. Okay, I'll print you a tag. Thank you. The system is new to Eastern Carver County Schools this year. We heard from our community that they wanted a more secure um, schools for our, our children and, and cameras and safety. So last year, voters approved a $2.45 million referenda to add secure entrances to all schools and additional security cameras. I think it just has added a layer of security where there's a small step for parents to come into the building. Principal Joan McDonald embraces any advancements in security. The safety and security of the children is our most important um, piece of how this whole project. And so it lets us know who's in the building, should they be in the building, and should anything happen in the building, where are they? If someone slides their driver's license and they are not supposed to be in the school, an alert is immediately sent to the school secretaries. Shanna's son Jack knows what it's all about. So no one gets hurt. Shanna was skeptical of the system at first, but now admits she's glad the district is on the cutting edge. You know, with everything that's going on in the world today, it's nice to know that when your children are away from you, that they are safe. There are other districts in Minnesota that use similar technology. Anoka Hennepin, Eden Prairie, Robbinsdale, and the Moundsview School Districts all added the system last year.